this is Mike Fox with Window Repair Systems and WindowHardwareDirect.com and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and uh, we're going to be talking about some weird parts. So for the first one, we're going to be talking about these gas balances. Now these are pretty, uh, pretty rare that we see come through, but give me some ideas of what exactly these are and where can we see these? Well, the gas balance was probably produced in the early 1980s, and it was really to help work with heavier windows because they were having trouble with operational forces, et cetera. So everyone has a gas balance if they have a, uh, a trunk in the back of their car that opens up gas shock will basically open it. Well, that's pretty close to what this is. It works fine, I think, in a car. When you put it into a window, it didn't really work real well. So you have, and it was produced for maybe about eight years. It's not produced anymore. It hasn't been for 20 years, but you might find it in one of your windows. Uh, it may look like this also. This is a tandem one. So you had two on each side. The strings would, you know, this is a cable. Some of them were corded. These this are is, cables. This is more heavy duty. Yeah, this is for. It's pretty heavy, actually. Uh, probably for a 50 to 60 pound sash. Hmm. It would work the same as a side load block and tackle. Uh, yeah, it's got the same ends. Yeah, it hooks in. It hooks in the jam the same way as a block and tackle. It would hook underneath a takeout, same type of thing. On the window, it may have a couple of different pieces that hooked it in the very bottom. Um, we found that with these, cold weather, hot weather, really affected the gas balance. It would, you know, during the summer the window might start creeping up all by itself. In the, in the winter, it would just slide down, which is pretty typical of any type of uh, gas setup. Uh, eventually, this was, it was taken, out. taken right out of it and because uh -huh. it, it, it had too many warranty issues. Everybody had to keep going back and replacing them. So what we did, at, at window repair is we put in the bigger balance that was holding 50 or 60 pounds and we would put in a turbo two or an ultra lift balance it's a class five balance that really helped do you remember what class these would be considered? i don't remember if it was a class two or three because it still had to have operational forces uh -huh. met um this, of course, would be a lighter class because it's going to probably have to, it's cabled. It's not, it yeah. doesn't have cable. It's string. This is more. This is a steel one. Um, I'm surprised on how on how hefty this is. It's heavy. I mean, it has all of these steel ends. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I mean, these would be probably mo mostly commercial. It was probably, I, we found them in apartment complexes and schools. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and it was taking the place of an old helix balance, which was very expensive to make, uh, manufactured by Caldwell. And eventually just got, there were too many parts to put it together and discontinued. So when that was discontinued, someone made a gas balance and it might have worked, it might operate a little better, but not as efficient long term. Mm -hmm. And eventually then you had the Class Ultra Lift different. and the Turbo 2 came through and really helped out with the efficiencies of lifting the window. Uh, yeah. There's, there's definitely a lot of parts to this. So if you happen to see one, it, it kind of looks like a bow and arrow. <laughs> you know, you, yeah. But... Uh, we have replacements, not of this, but we can retrofit a different type of, uh, in the window. So I think in, in, in the long run, these are just the weird parts you'll find in windows. Um, we will, yeah, things come and go. 
they come and go. You, you get the most efficient you possibly can so people can lift the windows and operate them. That's the biggest thing. Yeah. Yeah, so this is definitely a, a weird thing that we don't normally see. Mm -hmm. um, but it's pretty interesting. I mean, there is definitely history in, in how these balances come about. Um, yeah, it was produced by uh, Jim Walters Corporation out of uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And it, it, they current, they're not in business. Uh, they haven't been for many years. But we keep finding them. <laughs> they're out there. People call up, what in the world is this? Mm -hmm. um, and it, you, can, you can replace them with new uh, upgraded balances. So it's, it can be scary to look at. Yeah, when you see that, you don't want to touch it because it, you know, it'll cut your fingers or something holding on to it. Uh -huh. So you can do a couple of different conversions. Yeah. You can use a block and tackle or you can use a, a high output balance. Yeah. And that would probably be more efficient in the window. Uh, everyone's looking at making the window operate easier, especially when they get heavier and heavier and heavier. Mm -hmm. um, with insulated glass and with... The thickness is going up to three sixteenths to a quarter inch. That's a that's a heavy sash. So you've yeah. got to have something that's going to be able to hold it up and make it work right. Yeah. All right. Well, I think uh, that kind of summarizes this this gas balance thing. It's pretty weird. Yeah. If uh, if you get one, just give us a call, um, and I I think we can walk you through what to do with it, how to get rid of it. Yeah, it's probably the easiest way to put it. Yeah. Um, before, if it takes off, you know, if something breaks. Yeah, you don't want these things to snap. <clears throat> no. And then it just makes it harder for the window. If you find that your window is operating more difficult every time, uh, replacing it before it snaps and breaks is definitely much easier to, to work with. Mm -hmm. uh, you can come up with different ways of doing it. We just would have to know what the GM size is, that type of thing. And we can walk through measurements and yeah. anything like that. Make it as painless as possible. Yes. So, all right. So we'll just wrap this up. Um, so we're going to do some more weird parts as we go on. Um, I'm Mike Fox. This is Greg Fox. And until next time, Window Repair Systems, windowhardwaredirect.com. Thanks.